Hey guys, thanks for coming to the channel, thanks for checking this out. I have got to share this with you all. Uh, it's just a, a hilt I love. This is the God Sword and it's it's just, oh, look at that. You got this amazing battle damage on it. Uh, you got the da battle damage on the, uh, the emitter as well, which is really nice. And there's even battle damage near the base too. Uh, which is just uh, phenomenal. Something I really like about this is the uh, the stitching on the back. Um, I'm getting much better at this. But yeah, it's just this lovely stitching. Oh, there's a little blaster bit there as well. This lovely stitching at the back of it. Uh, it's just, it feels really nice in the hand. It's a really, really nice saber. Um, <clears throat> it's one of the uh, one of my more favourite ones. I want to try and get more of these out, actually. Uh, may have to do with the battery. But also, it's just really cool. It's just a really cool saber. You can change blade colours, so he jumps for all the different colours as well. I mean, how, how awesome is that? And the cool thing with my thing is, um, you can actually see the light coming through the holes. You can see the light from the emitter. It's really, really nice. I quite like this with a red blade, personally. Uh, but this will go for all the colours. So, any colour you want, you can have. Uh, we'll go with the pink. Uh, but it looks white. Um, but you can change things as well, so... Just one solid blade colour. Really nice. I quite like that. There's loads, there are loads and loads and loads of boxes of shoes. This is quite cool. <clears throat> the Blaster Blade is pretty decent actually. I'm not overly keen on Ghost Blade. We've got all these different things. You've got all these different missions, you've got all these different blade effects. Uh, you know, it's absolutely phenomenal. Um, and this, right now, this is only £250 and it's a Xeno Pixel setup. Um, it will be going up to maybe £300 uh, just because it takes a lot more time to do all the weathering, uh, all the battle damage, and actually adding the leather wrap on here. So, models with this kind of setup, uh, it may go up. Uh, I know things are really, really hard at the moment. Um, and people are really struggling, so I am in two minds of this, uh, whether or not to do it. But yeah, I just wanted to show you, I just want to take a few moments just to show you all how absolutely awesome this Sabre is, because it really is a gorgeous Sabre. And the thing is, not many people have them, the, um, because these are all custom made, this is the only one in the world that will be exactly like this. There'll not be another one in the world like this. It'll have its own unique aspects about it. Uh, it has its own kind of like damage that no one else will have. Uh, so it makes it one of a kind and truly, truly bespoke. Um, and I, I just absolutely love that. Um, and I know there's loads of Sabersmiths out there. There's loads of places you can buy uh, a lightsaber. The, sadly, the vast majority of them are mass-produced lightsabers. Um, and you know you could go to Comic Con and you'll bump into like loads of people that all have the exact same, <laughs> the exact same saber. Um, something, uh, hang on, I'll just turn it off. Something I want to show you. This comes with its own chassis, so you have access to the SD card. All you have to do, there's a little black cap at the end of this. You take that one off uh, with the end, edge of a, a spoon or something like that. You get access to this, and it just comes straight out. And you don't have to worry about it. If you're going to, just so you know, if you're going to change, uh, if you're going to put your own fonts on here, all these uh, Xeno boards are on version 1.5. So you will have to update it to the latest version for it to then allow you to add your own custom sound fonts. So remember, this is on 1.5. You need to update it to the latest version, which I think is 1.7. And then it will allow you to add your own custom sound fonts. Uh, get yourself to Kyberphonics. You can get five fonts uh, with a great discount right now. Uh, there is a link on the main website to Kyberphonics, so you definitely want to get there if you're going to be getting there. Uh, if you want to add your own sound fonts, and also by the way, his sound fonts are oh, they are 
Oh, they're so good. I wish he'd let me have one, uh, but uh, <laughs> he won't. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, if you are going to um, if you're going to update the soundboard and put your own soundboard the sound fonts on there, what you have to do is you have to press this little. There's a little button there. You have to press that first. Then you can remove the soundboard. Do whatever you need to do with the soundboard on your computer. Put the soundboard back in and then press the button on this is a reset master reset button if you don't do that you'll, you'll have more problems than you need you need to press this first take out the sd card update it put the sd card back in press the button put it back inside put it back inside and then you're good to go uh it also something i forgot to say it has uh, gesture control so Which is really cool. Oh, you, you, you should be able to uh, change sound fonts as well, doing it that way. Um, but yeah, I, I hope you like this as much as I do because oh, it's such a good saber. It really is. Anyway, guys, I'll see you next time and uh, have a great day.